There's a dilemma for a New York man in need of a lung transplant. He weighs too much to qualify for the transplant, but then he can't have weight loss surgery because his lungs are too sick. But doctors found a solution. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here to tell us how a balloon solved this problem. Doctor. Yeah, that's right, Maurice. It's this deadly medical catch-22. Too fat for a transplant, too sick to act, too sick to exercise to lose weight, and too sick for surgery to lose that weight. So for Julio Hernandez, a recently FDA-approved stomach stomach balloon was a solution. Here's how it worked. Julio Hernandez was a happy but very heavy guy. His weight gave his joints trouble, so when he went to get worked up for a knee replacement, he got a nasty surprise, an incurable lung condition. I needed uh, to get a transplant. Uh, that was the only cure because there is, there is no cure for every plant pulmonary fibrosis. There's no cure at all for that. So uh, I had to do the program, um, lose the weight. Worse yet, his lung condition made losing that weight almost impossible. But because of his breathing issues, he couldn't lose the weight sort of conventionally with, with diet and exercise. Conventional uh, weight loss surgery would have been an option for him, but unfortunately that's done under general anesthesia and his pulmonologist at Columbia felt that this was too high risk for him. That's when Dr. Sharia came up with a balloon alternative called Orbera. It can be placed under light sedation so it was safe enough for Julio. It's a space taker upper. It, it fills the stomach, nearly two-thirds of the stomach, so it sends signals to your brain saying you're full. But also when the the food goes in, it just stays in the stomach longer. The balloon is placed in the stomach through a long, thin endoscope. It's filled with plain saline and is left in place for no more than six months. But long-term success is dependent on nutrition counseling and continued portion control. Julio lost 70 pounds with the balloon and kept it off, partly to see his granddaughter grow up and so he can get his lung transplant. It has given me life back. You know, before I was sedentary, I was just, just blah. Now I'm more active. You get to dress better. You, you know, you feel better by yourself. Indeed. Now, Julio is back on the transplant list, waiting for the right match. His weight loss, though, is above average for balloon patients. Most lose 20 to 40 pounds, but that's often enough to jumpstart a bigger weight loss and enough to improve blood pressure, blood sugar, and other important health markers. That balloon comes out, by the way, the same scope that they used to put in. They go back in. Poke a little hole mm -hmm. in it, drain the saline, and then just pull the balloon. Wow. Right out. Just pull it back out. Amazing. Amazing. That's right. Thank you.